Hello everybody, it's Jay, and welcome back to Farming Sim 22. Uh, today, uh, I'm in the private server that is owned by Stopple, that is accessed by myself, uh, Ornery, and Stopple, uh, and a couple other friends. And just kind of give you a little show and a tour of um, this my my particular farm. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's kind of show you first where I'm at here. <clears throat> so this is the default location that you spawn in right over here. And actually, it's actually right in here. So my my farm started off down in this corner here with these three fields. Actually, this was a field as well. So this field and these three. Then I kind of expanded out uh, outward and north to have myself a nice little... Oh, no. Actually, I forgot I own this one over here. Um, a nice size little farm area. This is my main uh, bait or my main homestead here, if you will. Um, and that's what I'll show you guys uh, first and probably spend the most time going over. And then I've got a little side base up here that I'm still kind of working on and developing to service these fields. And then I'll probably another small like base over here um just so i don't have to bring equipment all the way um all the way around the map when i'm trying to take care of these farms so we're gonna head on over to the entrance to the homestead and then we'll hop on over to the um storage area uh, where i keep all of my equipment at the main Cut through this field of corn here. This corn's probably got two more months. Now we don't have seasons turned on, so we just can we can kind of plant whenever we're thinking about turning it on to see um, how we like that. But uh, for now, we just kind of plant whatever, whenever, and it takes the growing cycle to grow. So this is the entrance to my living quarters and kind of my we'll call it the personal area. And that is the first time I've seen the willow tree in fall. Man, is that pretty. Anyway. So, a little carport there for my uh, truck. Nice, modest. Uh, actually, it's the most expensive house that we got. As we come down this way, got a little shed kind of hidden in the back here. And then I've got my three greenhouses. Now, each one is growing something different. I think this one's doing tomatoes. That one there is doing lettuce, and this one's doing strawberries. I had them set right now to just sell, because uh, if I don't get in game for a day, and the others do, <laughs> I'll have hundreds of pallets of strawberries to take care of. All right, as you can see here, I've got honey popping up because I've got a beehive. These two are sunken into the ground, and I have no idea how to fix that. So, Giants, if you're watching this, um, little help. So, uh, I do have super strength turned on. Um, it's just easier sometimes than using the, uh, the forklift. That's good enough. So, I've got all these pallets of honey the, that I'll eventually sell. I've got a couple pallets of strawberries here, all of these tomatoes, and all of this lettuce with a couple little bits there. Some water storage, another utility shed that doesn't really have a purpose. It's just kind of there for decoration. Um, this is uh, Ranger's area. And for whatever reason, it won't let me feed him. But Ranger's about somewhere. He uh, kind of comes and goes as he pleases. Then my chicken area. Now, it doesn't look like it, but I've actually got, as you can see in the corner there, 210 chickens, and I need to drop some food. Which I'll do a little bit later. And this is where the eggs get produced. Each pallet of eggs is 1,400 pieces. 
So, uh, we're producing that exit a pretty good clip. So this is, uh, this is kind of the little homestead. This is, um, where I go, if this were a real farm, this would be where I go to relax. So now we'll cut through this, uh, this fence here. And this is my storage area. My main storage area, I should say. Got a nice little way station off to the left here. My case harvester with my regular header and my corn header. One of the trailers I have, the half pipe at that. This is my uh, front end loader and an extra weight I had laying around. This guy actually belongs at the other farm, so when it's time to go over there, we'll drive him over. This is all of the equipment that I use specifically at this farm. Now, I can take it elsewhere and use it if need be, like the trailers especially, but specifically this farm gets those used. Here's my storage silos, uh, the biggest ones I had, because why not? Another silo here. I don't even know what I put in here. What do we got? I don't even know what should go in there, so I'll figure that out. This is a uh, a mod that we have. It's the all fruits dispenser, so I can get seed here. I can get fertilizer, lime, um, stuff like that. This is a liquid fertilizer tank, which let's uh, go ahead and fill it. And then this is the what, dry fertilizer. Yep. Go ahead and fill that one too. And just for fun, there's something I can fill here. Ah, seed. Mineral seed or seed. So, we'll go ahead and fill all that. Oof. Knocked my money down quite a bit. So, this storage shed here, oh, my flashlight's on, uh, also has a maintenance bay in it. One of my tractors is in there because it needed to uh, get worked on. <clears throat> Here's some more storage. I don't really have much in here yet. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. But, uh, yeah, this some more storage. As we come over to the little garage here, this is where I'm keeping tractors. I have three. I don't know where this, the other Massey Ferguson is. One of my tractors is in there because it needed to uh, get worked on. Got two of the big ones and one of the little one here. And then my semi truck for the trailers. And we come out this, uh, this little entrance here. So. Let's go ahead and kind of trot on over to this semi here. Now, walking around in the game, I use mouse and keyboard because um, it's easier for me. Driving, I switch right over to uh, controller. So, let's go ahead and take our semi and get it over to the secondary location. Oh. I, so I broke this entrance the other day. I was trying to even it out. It was very steep. Um, and I told Ornery, and he came through and fixed it for me. So Ornery, if you're watching this, thank you, my friend. Uh, he actually designed this whole compound here uh, based on kind of a really crappy description uh, that I gave him for the idea. So right across here, is one of my fields. Uh, it is growing, I believe I'm growing soybean there. I've got corn here and some wheat growing. Uh, I'm kind of mixing up, doing a little bit of everything. My ultimate goal is I want to have a field where I grow uh, uh, grapes and olives, but that'll come in time because that takes all specialty equipment. We're going to come on past here, past the train yard. I don't even know what that one is. We got the debris, the debris crusher right over here. 
So when you pick up stones, you can drop it off there and um, you'll get money for dropping the stones off. And here is my most recent purchase. Now, again, I haven't uh, really finished working on it. I plan on kind of putting a road here and paving in um, this area to the that we're looking at here. I didn't give myself enough room, did I? Ooh. Check knife it. This is why I don't drive a big rig. My brother drives a big rig, and I'm super proud of him, but I I can't. <laughs> Just come on, slide and Perfect. Shut that off. We'll go for a walk. So here I went with a John Deere um, kind of theme. So I bought two of these uh, John Deere 6250Rs as well as the uh, John Deere Harvester. Got my collapsible John Deere corn header. And then the uh, regular header. Oh, my plow's sitting out here. It needs to be hosed down a little bit, so I'll hose that down. So the storage shed here is where I'm, I've got my planter. Uh, I'll put the plow back in here, and then I'll have the cedar, which is way over there. So all three of those go in there, and then the tractors kind of hang out in here. Let's go ahead and grab that and bring that back. So I bought 57 and 56 up here because all of the majority of my fields were kind of small. Um, they, you know, they were getting me good yields, but I was listening to, uh, you know, Ornery and, and Stoppel, and they were combining fields, and, you know, they were making three or four trips at a time um, just for one field. So I was filling up half a trailer. Um, with one field, so I decided I was gonna gonna branch out, get a couple of bigger trailers, use those for my my better crops, and um, kind of plan out how uh, how I'm gonna do this. So, so eventually, what I want to do is take the bigger fields and put the crops in them that uh, are going to harvest at a time where they're very profitable. But we'll, uh, that'll take some time and figure out when and where that's best. We'll drop that guy off. I'll worry about the, uh, the plow later. It's out of the way. Gotta level that out. Leave myself enough room to put this guy in here. Just barely. Oh my gosh. Here's what we'll do. We'll Oop. Park it there. And kill it. So I've got uh, soybeans growing over here, and I've got canola growing over there. The store is right there, straight ahead of us. So that uh, that's always a nice thing to have quick access to the store. Uh, my only other field, uh, there's not much going on there, and maybe we'll make a video out of it in the future. But it's a uh, it's a field right now. Um, let's uh, let's pop over there. Okay, so it's this field here, 71, and this is a grass field for now. I'm thinking about keeping it that way um, because the land over here, no, the land south of here um, is also mine. And I'm thinking about putting in some uh, some silage 
stuff down there. So we may just keep this one grass. We'll put in, uh, buy a bunch of grass equipment and put it over here and just continually seed this as grass and uh, do the silage thing. So that is uh, my farm, which has been dubbed Shy Town Acres. I am Old McShy Town. And this is Farming Sim 22. Next video we'll, I do in here in this server, we'll uh, we'll kind of tour the other guys' properties real quick. See what they've got going on. I'll show you a little bit of the magic that Ornery can work. Because he is the one that built uh, built my farm, he built Sapple's farm, and he built his farm. And he is just a whiz at this stuff. So, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, there's going to be more content coming. It's going to be slow this next month until the holidays are over. Work is kicking my butt. Um, but we'll do more content. So we'll get st some stuff out there. If you like the video, uh, you want to see more, I plan on doing a lot more. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've got a kind of a goal to get to 150 subs by the end of the year. But I'm not really putting out the content like I thought I was going to be. So if I don't hit it, I don't hit it. Um... If, uh, if you want to see something in particular, if you have any questions about the game, shoot me a comment. Leave it down below. I'll see what I can figure out for you. Uh, we'll do a video on, um, maybe I'll do a video on how to properly work grass. You know, how to do grass step by step all the way to uh, baling and all that other stuff. Until then, this is Jay saying be good to yourself, be good to others, bring happiness into the world. And until the next video, take care.